So we are in this little side adventure. And we have our ragtag group of horde monsters of goblins, kobolds, and orc. Ogre. Sorry. Ogre. And uh, they had their backstories, said why they've come to this place, which in short is to become leaders of their respective horde, hordes kind of thing. In short, to, cr to be the leaders of an army to attack people they're getting revenge on. And, uh, okay, Noah. And, uh, you guys began to go through. While going through this little, uh, proving grounds, you found and killed off a gibbering mouther and got swarmed by and promptly killed off large fiendish monstrous centipedes and continued forward and eventually got to a room that you snuck into and noticed nothing but uh crux failed relatively miserably and he was hidden very well but he made a shit ton of noise as he fell into a little pothole and that's where we're beginning so Inside of this room, it is as you see. It is a stone floor, but there is a uh, little indoor-like pond. And way up on this raised roof is some small holes letting in a little bit of moonlight. Because it is nighttime. The uh, So it is still dimly lit from the phosphoric... Uh, Phosphoric? Sulfuric? Whatever. Phosphoric. Luminescent. What? Yeah. Uh, mushrooms. Bioluminescent. Bioluminescent mushrooms. Anyway. Around the lake, though, on one side... You guys see kind of grass, but more like a moss. But nevertheless, it is definitely a room that seems to be growing a little bit of plant life. And on the other side of it is just a bunch of scattered bones, along with what appears to be a bunch of random stuff just strewn about. You can see, as an example, a piano that looks like someone really hated pianos because they hit it with an axe and a meat cleaver and a grappling hook. You also see a destroyed grandfather clock, um, a pickaxe and shovel random bottles a stack of books just yeah, stuff that you Minecraft would room. stuff that your characters in and of themselves would probably find pointless and or obvious as why you would toss it with the bones um being monsters more or less yourselves clearly there were some goblins that came and ransacked this place and did what had to be done they did the right thing and destroyed those damn people crap what do you do oh there's also a weird golden statue in the middle of the lake pond thing people make wrong type of brick brick hate people I'm gonna try and get out of this crack Uh, roll me a dex. Or strength. Either one. Twenty-two strength? Yeah, you easily, uh, lift yourself up and pull yourself forward, getting out of this hole in the floor and, uh, wall. Uh, I... Can you roll me a hide and move silently, Noah? Twenty two hide. Thirty 
13 move silently. All right. I'm just having you roll it since you did tell me earlier how you went into this place silent. I'm assuming you're still trying to be that. Yeah, but not prone in a crack. Now you can say what you wanted to do, Lamb. Oh, I'm just moving along the outer edge of the room. I got a 36 on hide and a 13 on move silently. Okay. Does anyone else do anything? We have uh, Crux moving out of a hole and Glug Glug moving along a wall. I will take a five foot step forward. Rick, follow. Okay. Um, everyone go ahead and roll me a spot. What'd you get? That one, total ten. Okay. Uh, Lamb, what'd you get? Seven. Tate, what'd you get? Twelve. Uh, jo Jared, what'd you get? Twenty-five. Jordis. What'd you get, Jerry? 25. And, uh, Noah, what did you get? 5. Oh, Hanzi, uh, you're facing away from the wall, right? Yep. It looked like something to your far right moved, but you're not quite sure. Kyle, do you want to turn on, uh, turns? If you don't want to do anything, just click next turn. I'm going to try and sneak forward into the rooms.
You gotta click next turn, Jared. Uh, I was just rolling my uh, move silent hide. What'd you get? Oh. Uh, 43 move silent. Okay. You said and hide, right? Yep. 36 hide. Okay. Want to investigate this hole. It is literally just a hole. Just natural. Well, maybe not natural. Maybe someone uh, pickaxed it a long time ago, but there's nothing important. Welcome to Minecraft. Okay, then I'm just going to move up a bit. I'm a crawler as for Rex Lakes. Enter the room. Ooh, what in here? What's in here then? Ooh, what's this? Love that meme so much. Click next state if you're not doing anything. Uh, Beyond moving. He's gonna want. Brick's gonna wander up to the water. Watch. How much should I move? Oh, he could do it about there. That's about it. I can actually move because I couldn't remember. Marcus, does the uh, 510 rule for diagonal still count for large creatures? Technically, yeah. a hide of 24 and a move silently of 16. Okay. I don't know why you're so afraid of this room. I'm not. I'm trying to get the drop on anything that tries to get the drop on us. Oh. The last two encounters we've had, things have been getting the drop on us. Along with, you know, humans getting the drop on my entire people. Uh, I'm back. Suzy, roll. What's that? Sorry, I'm back. Food delivery showed up, and I was trying to figure some stuff out. Sure, it's Europe. No, this is America. Tap, it's for you. I'm gonna try and observe over where I saw the movement before. Okay. Okay. 
Do you want me to do another spot or a search? Uh, technically, with your placement, it would be hard to see because of being around a corner and stalactites in your way. You can try, but it will be at a harder difficulty. Limited uh, 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 vision. But if you want to, roll a spot. Twenty-four. It's the ground. Rick's gonna wander right up to the water. He's gotta take his flask of oil that he hey, has. Yeah. Roll me a fort save real quick. Okay. Eh. Dice roll go. Holy shit. Oh. Uh, yeah. 31. Roll me a uh, spot real quick. Okay. Fifteen. All right, you notice nothing. Never mind. All right. Brick is going to lean down with this flask of oil. It's better. It's better to make more, more sticky stuff for more bricks, even if sticky stuff isn't as good sticky stuff. Bricks a little sick today. Okay. Kelp, same thing. Can you roll me a fort save? By the way, that was one off from a natural 20. Now you have a plus 12 to fortitude, which is ridiculous. Fort save of 22. I also have Alright, roll me a spot. Nineteen. All right, it's just water. Water of which I am looking at, mostly. Uh-huh. It is wet water. There, and I forgot to do my fucking rolls early. 29 hide. And a six, let's move silently. Lamp, can you roll me a fort? Or because you have made us paranoid with these rooms. I can tell. 22. Alright, roll me a spot. Fourteen. You said fourteen? Yes. Okay. So it's not a static number, just so you know. It's a number that technically changes. It's not exactly one-off, but almost everyone has been one-off on losing or winning. You've been off by, like, one through three on dice rolls.
or I've lost by one to three on dice rolls. All right, Jared, you're up. I'm just going to keep myself hidden. Okay. Keeping the big man between me and the water. Give me a second, Noah. High or low? High. Alright, never mind then. Tate, you're up. After putting, after finishing the flask, Rick's gonna look over at Azarug. Big friend. Big friend. Do you have any clay, big friend? Why would I have any clay? You know I like clay. Bricks. Doesn't mean I would carry any on me. I thought you would, since you're a big friend. Oh well. Rick's gonna go there. Hey Tate, roll me a fort. Oh, I missed the double roll. 22. Roll me a spot. Three. I'm not even going to roll it. Okay, Jer uh, Kelb, you're up. Hey, Marcus. Yeah. Remember the, uh, rare items we were allowed to get? Yeah. Would you like to know what one of them was that I got? Sure. Bring him water walking. Okay. <laughs> walking out on the water to inspect that. Okay. Uh, as you begin to expect it, can you first roll me a fort save? Sure. Yeesh. A five is not good. Uh, fort save a 14. And can you roll me a spot? Another 19 on spot. Oh, thank God. Someone rolled higher than it. Um, you have enough time to yell out something you see before your body begins to turn to stone. Huh? What? Ah, Basilis. Got it. Uh... Yeah, it's been hiding in the water, waiting for someone to turn to stone to bite them. You guys keep beating its gaze, <laughs> and you it kept beating your spot. So no one was able to catch on that this thing's been like, Turn to stone, motherfucker, turn to stone! <laughs> but you are technically, like, next to it. Anyway, you he has enough time to yell it out like, as he looks why down, this working? looking up and down this thing, and notices a pair of eyes go whoosh, 
and his body slowly starting to seep into the water, even with the, uh, the, uh, he'll, his head will still be out of the water because he's so goddamn tall, but, uh, um, slowly sinking into the water, even with the water walking, because he is just turning into a statue at this point. What do you want to do with your uh, free action? Well, I have a question. Am I actually looking at this thing in the middle? Or am I noticing more of that? You are starting to look this thing up and down. And while doing so, you notice the basilisk. I notice the basilisk that's behind me. Do I have eyes in the back of my head? It's, it's below you. I just can't. Uh, <clears throat> physics? Physics, please. I don't think there's a way for me to get the Basilisk back. Uh, first person, tactically, you could probably get underneath the table. Because, I mean, this is at level it, it, zero. It doesn't go far enough. And if I try to fly outside, it brings me back in when I go first person. Ah. Uh, I don't know, just make another one? I guess. Yeah. The long lost basilisk of the uh, pond water. It's gonna show up like three weeks later and we'll have to fight it again. The basilisk just save stated. He's saved scumming. Well, uh, while Marcus is doing that, uh, for my free action, I will be shouting out, uh, below me. Just those two words. Emma, why are you going so slow? If the camera's going slow, uh, click spacebar to yeah, recenter it, and then it should fix it. Uh, I am going to then electric breath the water. Somewhere around his area. Assuming his feet are made of, well, even if his feet aren't made of stone. I don't know how you want to modify that with the water. I think about D&D is uh multi-layered fighting is never fun for display purposes. What's never fun? Multi-layered fighting in D&D. Oh, yeah. Cuz like technically there could be a t another smaller map of the basement level of the water. In short, the water is about 10 feet deep, just a little a little less than 10. So enough that he can have his head out, and enough that the basilisk is able to lay down and not go up above. Anyway, um, you're going to electric breath the, the uh, water? Yeah, like right around in his area, whether he's being affected or not. Is there a saving throw or anything with that? Uh, DC 20 reflex, but I don't know how you want to deal with that with water. Jumping out. Yeah. Only 14 damage, so. What's the uh, save? 20 reflex. Um, 28 probably makes it then. I would hope so. Are you fucking kidding me? No. The, uh... I have rolled a four every time I've used my fucking breath. Oh. Every fucking time. Just a quirkier character. Your character doesn't know how to use their breath very well. Alright. 
It uh, lunges out of the water onto the land. Everyone roll initiative. Kelb, your character is on a uh, uh, one turn, I guess technically two turn countdown. So this turn and then one more turn. To be unpetrified? Before he is petrified. Ah. Is this gay is not a spell like ability, by the way? Or is that just supernatural? Supernatural. It's an SU, it's not a SP. Um, I don't think it has any SP abilities at all. Any spell like. How many creatures do? Alright, Kel, what'd you get? 23. Tate? 16. Jared? 19. What was that? 19. And Noah? 8. All right, so we go Kelb, Jared, Tate, um, Noah, Basilisk, Lamb. You also see this is no little boy. It is a large uh, abyssal greater basilisk. This one's been sitting and probably eating for a while. Eating what? Who knows? Petrify a gas? Um, I suppose you would just turn into dust. I do believe with transmutation, so hopefully, let me see. I'm not sure. My dad usually ruled transmutations as a way to break petrifies. Hmm. All right. So what I was thinking was a. Uh... Network. The page on Gash's form actually specifically states that uh, spells, spell like abilities, supernatural abilities affect them normally, but uh, they get a DR10 slash magic in uh, Gash's form. Wait a minute, no, what? Gash's form? Yeah. Still allows uh, the user to be affected by spells, spell like abilities, and supernatural abilities. Okay. So yeah, you'd probably just turn to dust. Yep. And then reform as a statue.
Alright, well, fuck it. Let's, uh... Let's summon Monster 1, shall we? Sure. Give me a second to bring up the table. Bring in a uh, monstrous octopus and have it attached to your guy's face. That's a uh, kind of actually what I was somewhat thinking. It's I probably guess gonna not. be the one of few times I can actually have an octopus summon here. <laughs> it's a monster. It's a, a fiendish octopus, and it's just attached to him. Fuck it, we're summoning a fiendish octopus. Right, uh... What is this? Well, right, uh, right there. It will last, uh, three rounds. Right there. Yes. What happened? I'm summoning a fucking octopus state. Sorry, a fiendish octopus. Can we eat it? When we're done. No, because... It's either going to disappear from expiring in time, or it dies and disappears. Alright, well, it looks like he has attacks with uh, his arms. There's also his special abilities, Ink Cloud, and I'm guessing that's it says Jet, but essentially Ink Jet. Nope, that's movement, so it's literally Jet. Wow, that jet ability. We can move up to 200 feet. As long as it's a straight line. Jesus Christ. Uh, the, uh... Indish Octopus is going to be trying to grapple the Basilisk back into the water. Let's see how well that works. So grapple versus grapple is what you want to do, huh? Yeah, let's see how that works. We'll find out. Sure. Twelve. Okay. Yeah, twelve. Yeah, no. <laughs> He, uh... You're just going for a grapple, right? Not an improved grab, not an attack first? Well, I mean, it would be doing the improved grab. Alright, make a melee attack first, Adam. Because at least maybe you can hurt him. Uh, 13. Uh, the octopus slaps the basilisk, uh, seemingly doing nothing as its little tentacled arm just <laughs> slides down its side. This is perhaps good. It's groping it. Can ima imagine the basilisk being good. No, this basculus is absolutely chaotic evil and just wants to eat. Alright, well, I got nothing. Um. 
And just in case, knowing, like, Tate as an example, you try to talk to it, it is magical, but it's a beast. So, there's no, hey buddy, this is Brick. It'd be animal handling to try and make it not kill you. But it doesn't have an intelligence to talk back, Tate. So no druid again. Well, first off, you're not a druid, and secondly, no. What do you want to do, Jared? Oh, Hanzi is hiding in a corner. Hanzi is not entirely liking his options. Do it me both. I'm going to pull out a smoke stick at the ready so that I can try and obscure gaze if I need to at some point. Okay. And then I am... That's all I'm going to do this turn. So, Tate, what does Brick do? Brick sees his friend turning to stuff. Stones are not bricks. Can brick charge at this thing. Do you have a charge ability? Uh the internet says no. You can make a move action, followed by another move action. Um, you could also run in a straight line, or... If you have uh, range, you can move and attack. No, I can make it. Never mind. Brick's going to get right up on that thing then. I can only a power attack after I've stood still, right? You mean make a full round attack to do multiple attacks in a turn? No, oh, power attack. Raise your power attacks full round action. Hey, okay. Is it? Oh, no. Yep. It's not? Uh, full round attack, Tate. On your action, before making attack rolls for a round, you may... Choose to subtract a number of melee attack rolls and add it to melee damage rolls. This number may not exceed your base attack bonus. The penalty on attacks and bonus on damage apply until your next turn. If you attack with a two-handed weapon or with one two-handed... With one... With a one-handed weapon in both hands, instead... Add twice the number subtracted from your attack roll. So in short, if you're wielding... What are you wielding? 
Great axe. Two-handed. Is it two-handed? So what you do is, before you roll your attack, you can choose up to your base attack bonus, number of, uh, to remove from your two hit and add it to damage. So you could theoretically remove your entire to hit bonus other than your strength to add to your d20. And if you hit, you add all of that to your to hit. Actually, you would damage. add double because he double. has two handed. Right. So What's if your... I sacrifice one point in attack, I get two points of damage. Right. What's your base attack bonus? Plus 10. So you can remove up to 10 to add up to 20. And if you remove all 10, then it's uh, your d20 plus your strength to hit. And then 20 oh, plus I'm only damage gonna be... for damage. I'm only going to power attack for removing five. Okay. So remember that on your weapon's um, attack bonus that it's at a minus five. For this attack. For this attack. Or specifically, for this round. Well, all right, for the round, but you can only make one attack. 23. I guess if you got a attack of opportunity. Anyway, what was that? 23. 23 to hit? Yep. So that was, uh, what'd you roll? That was, uh, 13 plus 10. Gotcha. Okay. Um, yeah, that hits. Just making sure you remember your minus five. Yep. I'm normally at 15. Go by D10. Woo. And so since I removed five, I add plus ten. That's twenty-two. All right, you hit the thing for a little bit. And since I've uh, moved, I only get one attack, right? Right. Okay, that's it then. Um, You noticed that you added a little extra oomph into your attack, and it still didn't hurt him as much as it should have. Ergo, damage reduction. punch it. Go ahead. Twenty one hit. Twenty one hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Five physical, or sorry, eight physical and seven fire. Are your punches considered magical? Yes. Okay, I couldn't remember. How much did you say? Eight physical and five Se fire? Seven Six? fire. Seven fire? You hit him good, but it's, the fire just seemed to roll off his body. Alright, am I good? Yep. Now right. uh, you're up, Lamb. I'm going to move up here, switch to my power aura, and hit him with my fucking morning star. <laughs> well, attempt to hit him with my morning star, because apparently I'm just not rolling. Sure. 26. Yep. For 
for seven. I'm sorry, for ten. Because Power Aura. What does Power Aura do again? It adds my Aura bonus in damage. So okay. my Aura bonus is three right now, so it adds three to everyone in my Aura radius is damage, so long as they are my, my ally. How as much damage total? Ten? Sorry, what? How much do ta damage total? Yes, ten. And your uh, Morning Star is not magical, right? No. And what I said is that damage bonus only applies to melee. Or yes. Non spells. Ah, uh, your Morning Star seems to just bounce off. Him. I have another three turns until I can use my fucking breath again. Well, I'll be using a maximized empowered magic missile against Basilisk. Okay. So we'll be hitting for 15 damage. Can you roll me a uh, spell resistance? Overcome his spell resistance? That was spell resistance again? Just d20 plus foot cast roll? I think so. Uh, 16. I'll double check that though really quick to make sure, but 16 it was. Yeah, 1d20 plus caster level. Ah, alright. Oh, 16. Spell bounces off of him. Okay, well, the octopus is up for uh, attacking. Doing a full round attack. Did I say uh, no for the octopus hitting, by the way? Unless for some crazy reason the eight hits. No. The octopus is just hugging him. about a nine no yeah I don't think so uh, with that by the way I should be turning in stone because it's the end of my uh, turn uh-huh so Jared what does Ohanzi do as uh, he watches his teammates beat the crap out of a, well, try to beat the crap out of a basilisk, and uh, one of the guys becomes stone. Well, as it's currently looking the other way, he will try to approach it and do something. Oh, by the way, I have not been skipping the Basilisk turn, just so you know. He's just rolled really bad in terms of a bite attack against, ah. uh, against, um, uh, Crux. 
I forgot his name. Unless a two were to hit. Not unless I was already dead. Or not a two. Oh, actually, I fucked up. Oh, well, whatever. My bad. He should have hit you. I looked at the wrong number. All right, uh, Jared. What? He just went to there and didn't do. Yeah, anything I had soon? to. I had to use two moves to get there. So. Okay. Tate, what does Brick do? Mr. Brick. Is going to full round power attack. Uh, same thing as before, minus five. He's going to be aiming for the Basilisk's long ass tail trying to chop it off rears back his axe nope he turns my friend into wrong stone first one's 25 to hit, hit. should I roll my second attack sure I like doing my attack rolls first Um, technically it says 11 when you roll over it, which would be a 16. That one misses. You're making sure not to use your full base attack bonus on the second attack, right? Yeah. Not as in the minus five, as in not your full attack. Yeah. Yeah. Full, full round actions, the, uh... Tate, don't use the full base attack bonus. It's like, at level 20, you get, like, I think, like, a 15, a 10, and a 5. Really depends on yeah, class. Yeah, I'm but... at plus it, Yeah, 10, it depends on class. Which so he gets one per level. Five. So he, he, at level 20, he'll have 20, 15, 10, 5. Right. It, it, yeah. I was just using the numbers as an example. So I'm at 15, 10. Okay. Um... So, yeah. 25. I hit with the first one. Yep, 25 and 16. The 25 hits, the 16 yep. does not. Seventeen points of damage. Are you in range of Glug Glug's power, and are you adding the damage to your stuff? He is easily in range. So it's a plus yes. three damage. That's a 20, then. 